Did you know Ned Kelly, or Edward as his mother named him, was an Australian bushranger, outlaw, gang leader, convicted police murderer and one of the last bushrangers? He was born in 1854 and is especially known for wearing a suit of bulletproof armour during his final shootout with the police. Ned was convicted of willful murder and sentenced to death by hanging. This took place on November the 11th, 1880. He was 25 years old. After the execution, Ned's body remained suspended for 30 minutes as required by law to ensure he was dead. He was then placed on a hand cart and wheeled out the door, across the yard and into the dead house. There the execution mask was removed to reveal that Kelly's features had not disfigured. He had died with a placid expression and his eyes remained bright. Waxworks proprietor Maximilian Kreitmeier shaved the head and prepared a wax mold for a death mask. The mask was cast using plaster and many copies were made, including one that Kreitmeier displayed in his wax museum on Burke Street. Death masks were made in the name of science as well as to inspire fear in would-be criminals. The use of the now discredited science of phrenology was an attempt to understand criminality. Phrenology was a method of reading the shape of the skull and the bumps on the cranium. Each bump, lump and indentation corresponded to a characteristic that built a picture of the individual's personality. The scandals and stories about Ned's body were large and numerous, but despite them all, in 2011 DNA testing confirmed a skeleton exhumed in 2008 from the Old Petridge Prison's mass graveyard was indeed Kelly's and a famous skull rumoured to be Ned's was actually not. Ned's skull was missing though, and to this day its whereabouts are unknown. On the 1st of August 2012, the Victorian government issued a license for Kelly's bones to be returned to the Kelly family, who made plans for his final burial. The family also appealed for the person who possessed Kelly's skull to return it. On a Sunday in 2013, Ned's relatives granted his final wish and buried his remains in consecrated ground near his mother's unmarked grave. A piece of his skull, the rest yet to be found, was also buried with his remains and was surrounded by concrete to prevent looting. Edward Kelly is buried in the Greta Cemetery, Victoria, Australia. This is his headstone and Australian story.